Yo guys, welcome back here at Tioning Dachi. Now, I mean, the art, uh, well, I mean, uh, I'm exhausted, but at the same time, I would like to tell you guys everything I did the last days because I have done so much the, well, I think the past three days. I mean, uh, the car is actually very, very almost ready for supercharging. Yes, you guys heard that right. Now, anyways, guys, I hope you guys are going to like this video right now because I have some special uh, things coming up, as you already heard, supercharging, indeed. So you guys know already how late it is because the Devo Matisse didn't reach that far, but the Chevrolet Matisse, he did, as well, he did for sure. So, now, what I have here, guys, um, there so much happened to the car. Um... You guys have not actually seen everything, um, but I, I, the the thing what I I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys that also whenever I'm at my car again. But the thing I have done here on my car I have I, currently I have straight piped it, but it's not not yet finished. So that's why I have decided not to make a video yet. Um, also the other video I mean I'm a little bit uh, concerning uh, yeah well to edit it or not. But besides that, I mean, I have the straight pipe on it. Um, I had a sport a sport air filter on it, and that's right now a cold air intake. Yes, guys, a cold air intake. I can tell you guys the difference from the inlet air temperature is 15 degrees, and that's pretty much. So while driving with the normal sport filter uh, in the engine bay. Uh, the temperature of the inlet uh, air temperature was probably around 34 degrees while it was 10 degrees outside. Now, currently today it was 8 degrees outside and um, I did a cold air intake. Maybe not professional as it should be, but I'm still going to fix those problems. But for now it's, it's working fine with PVC pipes. Um, but the cold air intake changed the temperature with 15 degrees. Um, I came out just before I stopped at my home with 22 degrees Celsius. So that's uh, probably one or two degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, just just try to uh, come and convert that for yourself, guys. I mean, we work in Celsius here. Anyways, so that's one uh, thing. Um, I also did the hood latch because that one was rusty and crusty as well. So uh, I did. Uh, I cleaned that one up with carb cleaner, uh, but uh, not, of course, when when the the hood latch was already there. Uh, I took the hood latch off, uh, get it on a work, working bench, and uh, spraying carb cleaner all over it. And right now, no problem at all, sir. I mean, everything is gonna work fine. Also, the trunk, those cylinders actually, or hy hydraulic cylinders, which lifts the uh, trunk up in the hatchback. Um, those were, well, pretty scratchy and not enough oil, I should say, because uh, they were really something like that. And uh, right now it's going very nicely smooth uh, up and down without any strange noises. Um, that's also that. The other thing that I have done today is I released all the tire pressure that I had in my tires. Uh, because I had the feeling that the tire pressure was a little bit on the high side, and I was right, it was, a, it was a little bit high. So I put all the old air out, put some fresh air in there, because that's good for uh, old tires. They said there were new tires, but it was not. So, new air in the tires. Um, also, the, I re-managed actually the, uh, the side pipe, because yes guys, indeed, the side pipe is, the, is on there. Um, not the Dodge Challenger side exhaust tip. I mean that one is still uh, still laying at my dad's house, but I'm gonna do that at a later moment uh, when when it's needed to. Maybe I will do side piping on both sides instead of only one, but I have to check for uh, for some tests in order in order to do that. Anyways, so that's another thing. Um, I also reset the uh, ECU and uh, this did several test drives. Um, I did something with the uh, IAC sensor, so the air uh, inlet air temperature sensor. I cleaned that one up because, yes, indeed, it was was very messy. 
Um, I took the uh, the uh, trailer body off, cleaned that one up with carb cleaner. I mean, guys, <laughs> there's so much happened. Um, I'm all I'm so far at this moment, and you guys don't 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 even know how my engine bay looks like at this moment. And uh, you guys are definitely gonna see that. Don't worry, okay? Don't worry. And I'm gonna show you guys that not today, but I'm gonna do that in the next video. But before I before I'm gonna close anyway, I'm not gonna close without some special uh, stuff that I promised you guys. I mean, we had a day of Matisse, which was not that far to make it a cold air intake. Now we are already that far. And yes, I can feel. Uh, well, I, at least I can see already at the, the high RPM band and on top speed uh, that the Chevrolet Matisse is doing a job great, uh, job well done. So, what I'm planning here is... Uh, we are so far at this moment. The only thing that has to change are the injectors. Maybe 100cc. Because I have seven, I have seventy eight at this moment. So one hundred cc injectors, if I can find them, and doing doing something about the fuel pump. That's all I gotta do before I can crank up the uh, supercharger pulley. Yes, guys, indeed, you guys heard it right. I'm already that far that I'm on my toes to buy a supercharger. And yes, this is definitely gonna be a video. Duh. Tuning the horsepowers, the obviously. I mean, it's it's really time to put some horsepowers in there. That car is already slow from itself, and uh, I think it's time to uh, pump up uh, at least the horsepowers uh, with twice, twice as much as at least. Fifty-two horsepowers is from from the factory, and that's not enough for me. I want at least one hundred. That's 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 my last that's at least a little bit okay now my real goal is 150 maybe 200 if it's all right if it's possible but that's gonna be a big challenge now for this video this was it guys but for the next video don't forget the next video is not the supercharger already because i am still gonna show you guys what i have done to the car um because i'm really exhausted I worked maybe 25 up to 30 hours uh, only on the car and then I was still working with my dad because he is rebuilding uh, uh, of building a new house and he still has to destroy the old one so there's gonna be a lot of time in there and probably between now and two years we're not done with that yet so uh, yeah I mean the next video I'm gonna show you guys um, what I have done uh, to the car and uh, well we are going to do definitely a drive POV as well. Now, I mean, I have some gas, well, exhaust leaks actually, so I still have to find a way to fix them. Um, now, I have a triangle flange on my uh, on my downpipe and it's walking on a 45 degree. And I don't like that um, because the flex pipe is broken and that makes, it, makes things a little bit more harder to work on. So yeah, I have to really think about this, uh, what I'm going to do, if I'm going to buy the flex pipe, yes or no, at least not now. First thing, first order is the supercharger, so don't worry guys, we are going to get closer and closer. And uh, yeah, anyways guys, so for the next video, the drive POV is coming and I'm going to give you guys a walk around what changed so far. Oh, by the way, I changed the coolant as well. Because water was in there, and there's no more water in there, but minus 36 Celsius coolant. Anyways, guys, next video, walk around and the drive POV. The video after that is going to be the order of the supercharger and probably the install. This was Tuning Dutchie, people. I hope you guys enjoyed the evening. Give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and i see you guys the next time.